A Georgia couple's baby was decapitated during delivery, a medical examiner classifying the death as a homicide. And the parents now suing the hospital and doctor who delivered Travion Taylor Jr. The hospital says the baby's shoulder got trapped, causing complications that killed the baby. Adding medical staff used every reasonable maneuver to try and save Travion. An attorney for the doctor and hospital says the baby died before he was decapitated. But the Georgia medical examiner found the baby died from a broken neck because the doctor applied excessive traction during the delivery. The family's attorney held a press conference. Every aspect of the evidence that shows what happened is traumatizing. It's something I've never seen in my life from the medical records. And, we, and there is a video that we've basically given to the defense. Uh, which shows the excessive traction. In the civil lawsuit filed by the parents, they claim the medical staff lied to them and tried covering up the decapitation by pressuring the family to cremate the newborn. The parents say it was the funeral home that informed them their baby was in two pieces. They lied to us. They didn't let us touch them. Uh, we, don't, we don't like it. Uh, we just want justice for our son. Just because the baby's death was ruled a homicide by the medical examiner, that doesn't imply criminal activity. It means the death was caused by another person. But it's up to local authorities whether criminal charges should be filed. The attorney representing the family says the medical examiner ruling the death as a homicide is a benefit for their civil lawsuit.